Hello class 5 students. So here we are back with our sunshine class 5 term 1 book. Chapter number 4. The French lesson. A French lesson. Children, this is a story about a girl Sa whose name is Sarah Crew. She is a British girl. She was born in India. Then one day he was sent to a boarding school in England and let's see what happened with her in her class in her first day. When Sarah entered the school room the next morning, everybody looked at her with wide interested eyes. By that time, every pupil had heard a great deal about her. So it was the her first day in school when Sarah entered the school room, classroom. Everybody looked at her with excite, exciting eyes, with full of excitement because they all had heard about her before also that a new girl is going to come to our class. And she is a British girl. She was born in India and now she has come to England in the boarding school. One or two of them had even caught a glimpse of her French maid, Mariette. She is not really pretty, said Jessie, stealing a glance at Sarah across the room. But she makes you want to look at her again. She has tremendously long eyelashes and her eyes were almost green. Here, it is told that two students of the class had seen her French maid Mariette. She came to school with her French maid Mariette and two students had, had seen her maid also that day. Now Jessie, one of the classmates, she comments that Sarah is not really pretty. She's not very pretty but but stealing, at, stealing a glance means she looked at her but then started looking at somewhere else, say, pretending as if she has not seen her. So she says that, she comments that she is not really pretty, but she is so attractive that you would like to see her again. Once you see, you would like to see her again. Then she describes further that her eyelashes were very long. And her eye, the color of her eye lens was almost green. Now Sarah was sitting quietly at her, in her seat, waiting to be told what to do. She had been placed near Miss Minchin's desk. She was not abashed at all by the many pairs of eyes watching her. Now, she was sitting quietly at her seat. Now she, she was waiting for the instruction so that what she could do further. Now her seat was near the teacher's desk. Their class teacher was Miss Minchin. Now she was not abashed at all by the many pairs of eyes watching her means she did not feel embarrassed. She was a confident girl. When all the students were looking at her, she did not feel embarrassed. She was interested and looked back quietly at the children who looked at her. So the children, when, when a newcomer comes to your class, you all are very excited to be friends with her, to know about her and to look at her. So the same, same thing happened here. So when she was a newcomer in the class, everybody was looking at her, but she was not at all embarrassed. She was a confident girl. Whosoever was looking at her, she looked at them with a confident eyes. She cared for their lessons. Sorry, she wondered what they were thinking of and if they liked Miss Minchin and if they cared for their lessons. After Sarah had sat in her seat in the schoolroom for a few minutes, being looked at by the pupils, Miss Minchin wrapped in a dignified manner upon her desk. 
the children now what she was when she was looking at the children now she was wondering also what these children are thinking about what are they thinking of me do they like their class teacher miss minchin or not so after sara she had sat in her seat in the school room classroom for a few minutes when the children were looking at her in the meantime miss minchin entered the classroom and rapped in a dignified manner upon the desk so miss minchin entered the class and to attract the attention of the children she rapped on the desk zor se usse teacher jab sometimes she bangs on the table to to make you attentive so she rapped on the table seriously so that everybody should look at her young ladies she said i wish to introduce to your new companion all the little girls rose in their places and sara also rose i shall expect you to you all to be very agreeable to miss crew she has just come to us from a great distance in fact from india so now miss minchin she starts introducing sara crew to the children now she says i wish to introduce you to your new companion new class mate and all the girls they stood up it means it was a girls school because all there were girls only they all stood up at their places and sara also stood up now she says that i shall expect you all to be very agreeable agreeable means to be very friendly with miss crew sara crew bikshu who has come from india she had come from india now come to the next page page number 30 the pupils bowed ceremoniously said bowed ceremoniously means when you wish somebody in a traditional way and sara made a little courtesy and then they sat down and looked at each other again so sara also replied to them with a courtesy and they all sat down and looked at each other again they wanted to know each other everybody sara said miss minchin in her school room manner come here to me so miss minchin called sara to her she had taken a book from the desk and was turning over its pages sara went up to her politely so miss minchin she picked up a book from the desk and started turning over the pages he just says again and again and she and sara went to her politely as your papa has engaged a french maid for you she began i conclude that he wishes you to make a special study of the french language so it was miss minchin's assumption that her father wants her to learn french because he had engaged a french maid for her papa ne french maid rakhi hai isliye miss minchin thought that her father wanted her to learn french so sara felt a little awkward usko thoda ajeeb sa laga so i think he engaged her she said because he thought i would like her miss minchin so sara she gave an answer and said that my father has engaged her because he thought that i liked her ki mujhe wo achhi lagti hai isliye i'm afraid said miss minchin with a slightly sour smile that you have been very a very spoiled girl and always imagine that things are done because you like them my impression is that your papa wished you to learn french now the teacher got angry she said that i'm afraid that you are a spoiled girl to make bigdi vi ladki ho because you think that things are done because you like them tumhari marzi se cheeze hoti it means but i think your father wishes you to learn french that is why he had engaged a french teacher french made for you if sara had been older or less worried about being quite polite to people she could have explained herself in a very very few words but as it was 
she felt a flush rising on her cheeks. Miss Minchin seemed so absolutely sure that Sara knew nothing whatsoever about French that she felt as if it would be almost rude to correct her. Now, Sara never wanted to be rude with her teacher, so she did not say anything because Miss Minchin was absolutely sure for sure that Sara did not know French. Now, the truth was that Sara could not remember a time when she had not known French. What was truth? The truth was that Sara knew French very well. Her mother had been a French woman and Captain Crewe had loved her language. So it happened that Sara had always heard and been familiar with it. So now here is a little history about Sara. That Sara's mother was a French woman and Captain Crewe. Captain Crewe who was a British, he loved her mother's language. And so they always spoke, spoke French at their house. I, I have never really learned French. But, but she began trying shyly to make herself clear. She said that, ma'am, I have never learned French. But, but she wanted to explain something and make the things clear to her teacher. But she could not speak at all. One of Miss Minchin's chief secret annoyances was that she, she did not speak French herself and was desirous of concealing the irritating fact. She, therefore, had no intention of laying herself open to innocent questioning by a new little pupil. So here was a secret which annoyed Miss Minchin was that Miss that Miss Minchin did not know French. She did not know French. So, and she wanted to learn this fact, but she did not know. That is why she was irritated and she did not want any explanations from this little girl. Now, children, we'll continue in our next session. So stay tuned.